Hello, and welcome to the American Anarchist Show, where I rip off Davis Arini's intro and substitute it as my own. Today, I am going to be doing part two of my takedown of Arini. Let's have a look. Now, what Roosh noticed with all of this, that what are these people doing? Every single time there's a social justice movement, what does it ultimately do? Why are they attacking white men? Golf clap, Irene. Bravo, you figured us all out. All of us people, all of us left-wingers, that's what we're doing. We're trying to commit genocide on white men. Gotta give you a golf clap there. This genius found us out. Let's roll the next fucking clip. They're trying to destabilize the country. They're trying to lower the population, reduce the population by promoting transsexualism, homosexuality, molesting children. Because of course, if you sexualize a child early, whether it's directly, like in Brave New World, or if it's indirectly, such as having a sex ed class for 12 year olds talking about anal sex. The Illuminati is coming to take your kids. I, I, I mean, no, Irini, it's not. You just made a very fallacious argument, the idea that it <laughs> Here's why my gaydar is beeping, as I said. That is the worst argument. You are claiming that if every that if you allow it, everybody's going to turn gay. No, that's not true. People don't turn gay, they're born that way. And like I said, my gaydar is beeping. Because I think you might be closeted, my friend. Sexualizes them early. Instead of sex being a way to bond with a person you love, to form a stable family unit and raise children, all sex becomes masturbation. Just pleasure. And so they lose that ability for intimacy. Because they've had sex with everybody, they can no longer have sex with one person and trust them implicitly. There we go, folks, the hypocritical moralist argument from Mr. I had an affair with my best friend's wife. Bravo, Irene. Bra fucking vo. Why bother being better? And so Roosh observes that with all of this, what this does is it concentrates power in the elite. It destroys the very people that could fight back against them. I commend you for that great point I got about capitalism. Wait, what? Uh, oh crap, it's just coming in that that was not a statement about capitalism. That is a statement about socialism. Next. Be cautious about getting doxxed. We have to make sure that we keep our noses clean and we can even defend ourselves from violent assault. Because if we do, we might be the ones going to prison and the media will never, ever report on that injustice. Are you fucking kidding me? Fox News would be the first one to jump on that and play the white people are oppressed card. Fuck off, Irene. And so because we have the these weakling social justice warriors being backed up by the media and by the government, we have to hide from them. We have to be cautious. I refer you to MSNBC's new right-wing pundits. Let's take lying for a moment. You know, I absolutely despise liars. I, I can't stand liars. And yet, if, if, if you or I, you know, if we were to lie about something, why would we lie about it? We would lie to get money out of something. We would lie to get a girl into bed. We would lie to whatever, or maybe just to impress somebody else. You know, we'd claim that we won a martial arts championship so somebody thinks we're cool. Those are instrumental lies. They're not good, but at least they make sense. You I'm sorry you hate yourself, buddy. Like, you don't need to be so hard on yourself. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Just not all of us are racist right-wing prickheads. Now fuck off, Orini.
And see, this is, this is a minor form of evil. This is a minor face of evil. Refusing to accept reality. Refusing to accept truth. Rewriting your own history for no reason whatsoever than for the sake of rewriting your own history. For instance, if you were one of the global elites, okay, and you were going to the Bilderberg Group, and you were going to the, you know, Bohemian Grove, and you were hanging out with all of these people, what would you do? What would you plot? Well, I personally would plot a way off this planet. Let's go colonize Mars. And to do that, you need more smart people. So, you know, maybe put in some mild incentives for eugenic breeding practices. You'd want a moral people, because moral people are hardworking, etc. Don't worry, they're only mild incentives for eugenics, not major ones. We don't want to push genocide or anything. You know what? You can fuck right off, Irini. If, if you were some sort of uh, alien overlord that just wanted to use humanity to create as much gold as possible, you'd set up a free market system a lot like the original American Republic. Because that's where you get the most hard work, the most innovation, and ultimately, the most taxes. Of course, you'd find the place on the Laffer Curve, etc. What you wouldn't do is promote degeneracy, promote criminality, uh, promote idiocy. Even if you were a completely amoral person with, with nothing but a love of gold, you wouldn't do any of this. And these people that are ruling us already got all the power in the I can tell you take arts and crafts because that's a nice straw man you've constructed there. And you blew it over really well, too. But that aside, I'm not even going to rebut that argument because it is a shitty argument that rebuts itself about the free market. Goodbye. The world. They've got more money than they can ever possibly have. At this point, the only step forward for them is to prove that they are greater than God by destroying and blaspheming his work. There we go, the inevitable God is better than everyone argument. I'm pretty sure we can just say he's just a crazy right-wing religious nut that kid, as I've said the whole time, fuck right off. So they seek control not to win. Okay? Not to make more money. Not to go colonize Mars. Not to make better artwork. Not to make better skyscrapers. That's not what they're seeking control for. They're seeking control to destroy. To prove that they are better than God. Uh.